getting in two suitcases and moving in another country at the age of 22 is just something really crazy. <laughs> So, um, I would like to talk about a little bit more about like being a foreigner abroad because I think nowadays it is it is a topic like people think about it apart from Covid obviously people were free to travel and people were wondering how it could be to continue living in another country, in another culture or learning another language and just simply how it is to be a foreigner in another country. Certainly this is just my point of view, I don't know what is it like to be in another country or what is it like to be here for someone else, but what I live is truly amazing. I was always obsessed with Italy. It was really my dream to uh, live here and to be with Italians. I was always obsessed with Italians, Italian language, and everything. So when I was 19 we had a road trip here in Italy and it was two weeks and I remember <laughs> my ex-boss was just really not happy about that because it was two weeks, come on. But I swear it was the best thing I could do because I realized when I had this road trip it was basically like uh, Toscana and then uh, go down on the, the west coast and, and from Pisa go to Rome and from Rome up to Venice. It was like a culture shock to me, I can be honest. And from that point I realized that this is the future, like I need to be here, this is my home. I mean, obviously Hungary is my home as well, but it is, Italy is, is the home of my soul. Yes, certainly there were so many people saying the fence is not made of sausage, it's a way of saying in Hungarian and, and I knew, I, I knew that I, if I decided to come here I knew that it wasn't easy. If somebody lives their lives in a country, moving to another one, there is a reason, like there is some kind of motivation. I remember every Saturday morning I had Italian lessons for two hours with uh, Sabrina. Sabrina, if you're watching, thank you so much. You are the base of this. <laughs> and so um, after that, uh, I also started to do my driving license because I knew that it was really important here in Italy and finished school, uh, fashion school, because I knew that I was gonna work in this field. But I was struggling because I was looking for jobs but obviously from another country nobody really wanted to pick you you know like they don't have enough jobs here in Italy so obviously like it was not really realistic after a while I said to mom hey mom I need to go like this is not okay how it is now something drastic has to happen and she is the best she's always supporting me in my projects and so she said, okay, if this is what you really want, I support you, I will help you. And so she and her partner, they helped me to find an accommodation that is like a friend of a friend of a friend's someone. I actually resigned at work, I remember it was mid-October and the last day was 9th of November and I moved 12th of November 2016. Getting in two suitcases and moving in another country at the age of 22 is just something really crazy. I saved up money just to survive for a month and I was ready to go, I was ready to go and I remember that uh, they took me here by car and they stayed here for like two days with me so it was really really nice and it was a good feeling and then a crazy month has started. I remember my mom leaving and saying like, yes, you can do it. And I was like, you know, they closed the door and I was already feeling like alone. I was like, oh my God, what the hell I am I doing? Like, I'm abroad, I don't know anybody, only my landlady that I just met. And I speak the language, but I'm not sure. I don't have a job. I don't have friends. I don't have anything. And it was just, liberty and and 
a new freaking white page there in front of me, you know? It was not bad. It was not bad. It was not stressful at all. It was crazy good because I knew that I took a huge step towards my dreams and I knew that I went over. Like, I knew that not many people do what I did. And there was no question. I was like, okay, I have a month. I'm gonna find a job for myself in a country where there is no job. Like, no there are so many people disoccupied and I knew that and I was like I need to do that I need to be here I love Italy and this is my dream coming true right here right now um, I remember the first month was really tough guys went from stores to stores I didn't even really know how to explain myself uh, I was confused I didn't understand anything people said like I was applying for the most basic jobs like to work in a bar or um, to go in a store and, and work as a, as a seller and I mean don't misunderstand me again no problems with doing that job i really appreciate jobs any kind of jobs like if they found me a job for cleaning i would have done it and i wouldn't care if i have like a degree i wouldn't care what it is my profession i knew that to stay here i just need to earn money so i knew that i was gonna do that obviously not talking about 18 plus jobs like that was absolutely not an option for me i found a job uh, after 20 days, I guess, I found a job and I was working for Tedzenis. That was a whole different story. I don't like selling, actually. Direct selling is not my thing. And also, um, I just didn't feel so good because I couldn't really express myself towards my workmates. So it was a bit tough, but that was finally something that happened you know when you you are so alone that you appreciate work so much you appreciate being with people so much yeah, i worked there for a year yeah and i don't know how did i do that like i didn't know how did i do that because i remember i was struggling so much all in all in all what i feel is just pure gratitude and and like thankfulness for my ex uh, boss that she trusted me, that she wanted to help me, that she wanted to give me the opportunity, you know, and this is something I remember I said in the future, if there is somebody who is a situ in a situation like me and I can help, I will help because she helped me stay here and thanks to her, I'm here right now. But this is more or less the story, the story of passion, of love, of aims, really, like... I'm so grateful and I know looking back now after four years it was crazy guys like it was truly crazy but it is really the confirmation if you jump into the deep water there is gonna be the result if God wants you to do that the the energies are gonna just fit so much like everything's going to to figure itself out somehow you know and during these four years I really um, lived critical situations critical situations from every aspect so many things you know so many things happen if you're abroad and you have to be ready to count on yourself only i'm not talking about in these past two years because with luca obviously it's different it's much much more simple everything because he helps me a lot but apart from that when you come here obviously you will not have a boyfriend you will not have friends and that is something that you have to know and you have to be ready for thanks to facebook you have the opportunity to get into groups and there are international meetups and this is where i met most of my friends and a big negative stuff is actually um when it comes to friendships is that mainly you get to know foreigner people and it's not because Italians are not nice Italians are lovely really and most of them are treating you as an Italian but um, you feel the vibe of another foreigner who lives the same situations as you do so you connect more with them and the bad part of it is that big part of foreigners are always moving around so maybe they stop here for three years and then they get another job opportunity and they go away you know so many things can happen and so you get to know people you get really close to them and then unfortunately it happens that they go away and obviously friendship is there 
but a physical friendship like being having them around or having them only online is is different let's be honest dating is um yeah it was tinder <laughs> yeah um i retain myself as a person who has a good sense of getting to know the right people regardless obviously i met so many strange people and assholes that say i'm sorry but mm, there were stories if you want that is another video stories timing about italians from tinder i think every single person i got to know apart from boys or girls taught me something and i'm really grateful for that i can say that uh living abroad is definitely something that gives you like a huge speed up to your life uh, and you are put in many situations that you don't really live in your regular life also you have to be really open-minded and and yes like be open for new things and different things that's something that i learned here i remember the first one and a half years were like really unstable it's crazy because you think like yeah now i'm stable and then just it can switch so quickly you know like you're stable but then from tomorrow you don't have a job and then you don't have money to for the accommodation or they cancel your accommodation and it's really hard to find another accommodation here in Milan if you are like not having a certain kind of contract or if you have a dog like that's a no-go so it was really not easy with Marty but I don't care he's my baby kid so I don't care if you really like getting in 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 new life situations yeah like learning new stuff that is totally out of your comfort zone then I would definitely suggest you to try moving abroad and try your life there. I am the kind of person who don't really feel homesick. Uh, certainly I miss my family, certainly I miss my friends. However, I lost a lot of friends during these years and it is something I don't want to talk about. It's really a painful thing to me. Um, also because there are situations when I feel like other people cannot understand uh, what you're going through and so they don't understand why you're reacting to certain things in a way but yes uh, let's let's not talk about this but talking about anything I miss so many things from Hungary but I don't miss living there uh, my life there was different maybe I struggled more or struggled more here in the first years than back in Hungary but it was definitely worth it and I'm sure that I'm on the right path and yes since I have Luca it is different and it is amazing and he's an amazing person and I'm just so grateful and this is definitely the reason why I had to come to Milan because I originally wanted to go to Rome and then Milan happened we had to meet and we met on Tinder, so... <laughs> Just to clarify that it's not a bad place. I can tell you guys, he's supporting me in my dreams and... Oh, he's a good man, he's a good man. And yeah, so I just wanted to tell you uh, my story because yes maybe on instagram or facebook or youtube you see these stories and you just see like somebody comes to another country or somebody does something and glam and everything's good no guys i was struggling as hell for two years to be where i am and i think this is the normal and natural way of achieving goals and the path and it's maybe a cliche but it the way how you're achieving these things are that dream you know like with the good and the bad this is the dream and yes you have to fight for things to to have your life on point you have to work for that if you go and do um sugar baby that's a different thing uh, then you get everything but there are negative things as well but i'm just saying if you want to achieve your goals it's normal to to struggle it's okay that people maybe don't talk about that this is why i use the vlogmas to tell you more about it because i find it really important and also interesting and maybe um inspiring because it is not impossible at all you just have to be ready to to fight yeah so thank you so much for watching and see you next time guys remember this is vlogmas so i'm uploading more often ciao